Hello everybody, Popo Radar here, and today we have another video, this time from Jesse James Rayburn. And in today's video, Jesse will be recording the Lodi Police Department in Lodi, California. Jesse walked up to what looked to be a traffic stop and begins questioning the officers. Now let's get into the video and see how this interaction turns out. What's up, brother? What are these pigs harassing you for today? Violation of Fourth Amendment. Did you commit a crime, sir? I don't think so. There were no victims, no present, right? No victims present? But you pulled them over anyway? Yeah, we got a bunch of tyrants. What's your name and badge number, sir? Keep going. No, I'll be all right right here. I'll be all right right here. I'll be all right right where I'm at. Yeah, I am. I ain't no threat to you. All I got is a camera. Quit being a coward. Quit being a coward. Quit being a coward. Quit being a coward. Quit being a coward, tyrant. What's your name and badge number, sir? You can ask nicely all you want. I don't got to do shit. Nicely, sir. You can ask me nicely all you want. Keep going. Wait, you threatening me? No, yeah, keep going. You threatening me? No, I have a First to, Amendment right. I'm asking you to go. Move I have a First so Amendment right, sir. Business. I have a First Amendment right. I'm asking you nicely. I am not going to shake my rights for your fucking safety. No. Yes. You're a coward, then. So the first officer scene kept telling Jesse to leave pretty rudely, like he didn't want to deal with him. That makes me curious if the officer would react differently if a camera wasn't in front of them. As law enforcement, why would someone be in there change anything on how you're dealing with that given situation? Now let's continue with the video and see how this situation plays out. I'm asking you nicely to move. You can ask me nicely all you want. I don't have to do shit, you say. Yes, you do. We're over here trying to do our job. I do? So please move. Is that a law for order? So please move. That's a law for order? Yes, it is. You're preventing us from finishing. I'm not. No, this is a physical. It's a physical so act. It's a, well, it's a physical act. Yourself. Identify yourself. Identify yourself. What? It's a physical right act. Right here. It's a physical act. What have we done? Interfering. To you? What have you done to me? You fucking ruined you're my the, whole life. You're the one that keeps. You're a fucking tyrant. I'm over here with my camera to see you guys' as tyrant acts. That's all. Keep going. You guys pull somebody over for what? For having no no plate. That's not a crime, sir. So you violated somebody's Fourth Amendment. You take an oath to. You have a moral obligation to uphold an oath that you took. Do you not? Do you have a moral obligation to be an American when you took an oath to uphold the Constitution? We have a Fourth Amendment not to be secure, to be secure in our person, papers, things, and effects from unwanted or unreasonable search and seizure. I know, it, no, I call, I, call, I, I, I call it reading, bro. I call it reading. I call it reading. I call it. I call it putting you're tyrants. And you're not doing a job. You're tired. You're being a tyrant. A, your job is to. Your job is to serve and protect. This isn't serving or protecting. Go ahead and videotape I can protect from wherever I want to, sir, unless you put up unless you put up some tape. You put up some tape, I'll move. He's you put up some crime tape, I'll move. He's already given you a law. No, he has not. A lawful order. A lawful order. I, I'm not interfering with nothing. Yes, you are. You're preventing us from finishing. No, I'm not. That's a physical act. I am not threatening you, and I'm not interfering. Turn around and keep walking. I'm not going to keep walking nowhere. I'm going to be right here. This is my first. Okay, for First Amendment right, I'll go to jail, for fucking, and sue the fuck out of you. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I love it. This is what I do. This is what I do, buddy. Look up my name, Jesse James Rayburn. I know you. Yeah, you know who I am. Yeah, you know who I am. Just keep on talking. Yeah, I will. As long as I want. Finish your job. Do your job. I ain't no threat to you. Fucking cowards. You're fucking coward. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right there at the end of the driveway. Right here. Right there at the end of the driveway. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Eight feet is what the fucking Supreme Court said. Eight feet is what the Supreme Court ruled. Eight feet is what the Supreme Court ruled, coward. Eight feet is what the Supreme Court ruled, coward. Keep on going. Eight feet is what the Supreme Court ruled, coward. Eight feet is what the Supreme Court ruled. Do you not follow the law of the land? Do you not follow the law of the land? Are you a coward? Are you a coward? You must be a coward. So Officer Barrera claims that Jesse isn't allowing them to do their job and that he gave them a lawful order to move away. But California Penal Code 148 subsection G states that photographing and recording law enforcement does not constitute resisting or obstructing a police office as long as the officer is in a public place or that person with the camera has the right to be there. Which clearly Jesse does have the right to be there and record since he is on a public sidewalk. Jesse also isn't obstructing since he isn't doing anything physical. This auditor knows his stuff and was on point with everything he was saying. So after refusing to leave, the officer begins to try intimidating Jesse by resting his hand on his gun from what it looks like. Now let's get back into the video. You must be a coward. Just go ahead and put down your badge and gun and walk away, bro, because you're a coward. 
You don't uh, you don't even earn this job. I'm eight feet away, homeboy. You're a fucking mouth. That's all you are. You're a fucking tyrant. Look at you giving tickets you for fucking. Camera, yeah, I do. You're damn skippy. I do to show tyrants like you, bro. That's what I do. Giving people tickets for no reason. Thank you. You guys can leave now. You're dismissed. Mm -hmm. You're dismissed. You, walk with your you guys are dismissed. I'm going. You guys are dismissed, I'm lames. Talk. Cowards. You You're a coward, bro. Learn what it really is to be a cop. Follow the fucking Constitution of the United States that you swore an oath to. You have a moral obligation. You fucking cowards. You have a moral obligation to set this country right, bro. You guys are fucking cowards. Quit your job if you don't know what it is. First Amendment, the right to press. Freedom of speech, as long as I'm not threatening you, I can do whatever the fuck I want and you have no right to tell me what the fuck to do until I committed a crime. Learn the fucking rights. Learn the fucking truth. Or don't do your, or you're going to be losing your job if you don't, you fucking retard. You're not going to have a job, I promise you, unless you learn your fucking constitutional, unless you learn your constitutional obligation. You fucking cowards. You fucking coward. You're a fucking coward. That man, that man, he's a, he's a righteous dude. He ain't said shit. You're the motherfucking coward of saying all the shit. After the person that was pulled over got his citation, Jesse begins to tell the officers their obligations as law enforcement and starts telling them that he can tell them whatever he wants without getting in trouble since he isn't threatening anyone, which is correct since what Jesse is telling the police isn't likely to incite imminent lawless action as ruled in Bradensburg versus Ohio. In that court case, the Supreme Court established that speech advocating illegal conduct is protected under the First Amendment, unless the speech is likely to incite imminent lawless action. So as long as what he is saying isn't resulting in violence, he is protected under the First Amendment. But the law enforcement officers want nothing to do with what he is telling them. Now that's the end of this video. Make sure you go and subscribe to Jesse's channel and let him know Popo Radar sent you. And let me know down below in the comments if you believe the officer's orders were lawful or unlawful. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Popo Radar out.